and here we will have Professor John Peter Portelli from Canada, Professor Charles Slater from the US, Dr. Alison Taysom from England, and Professor Khalid Arar from the US. Between 5 and 5.50 in the second panel, we will focus on autonomy and alternative schools. There will be Faiza Aikud in this panel, Jan Sukai Kusus from Istanbul Medical University, Aisha Bina Saraj from Alton Chal School, Dr. Aktif Pamuk from Marmara University. Between 6 and 6.50 p.m., we will have three simultaneous oral presentations. In the fourth oral presentation, Senep Olgun, Orhan Kaptan, Dr. Dr. Gülsan Figan Fidan, and Maryam Tutach, Tucha Ayric, and Hakan Karatas will be presenting in that order. And in oral presentation five, Yushat Kultur, Faruk Levent, Mevlut Kara, Bayram Boskurt, Fatma Avja, and Muhammad Deir Mandere will provide a talk. Afterwards, Zafar Ekici, Merve Ekici, Nazmiya Hazar, Semiha Shahin, Ömer Demir, Yavuz Kalman Shevik, and Ebru Kulekci Akivuz will deliver their presentations. Between 7 and 7.50, there will be another break. And in the last session of the day, between 8 and 10 p.m., we will have an International School Principals Initiative meeting. They will and country representation representatives will participate. Thank you so much for listening. I would like to hand over the floor to Ibrahim Hakan Karatash. And thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Ahmed, thanks for your valuable insights for this panel. Uh, actually, Professor Ahmed give a core dimension and core heart of the uh, future of education. And Professor Sharma will shortly summarize what we have said for this future of the education. Uh, Professor Sharma from Ambekar University, Delhi, from India. Now uh, he is going to shortly summarize uh, for the future of education, what I and uh, Dr. Ahmed said for this future direction. That's your turn. Okay, thank you very much, Gunaydin. Uh, I hope I can say Gunaydin now it is <laughs> afternoon. Uh, uh, I thank uh, Professor Ahmed because uh, I, I pick up one point of him when he very rightly, very excellently said that the uh, real teaching is when the students, they lead their learning. Means when they take charge, when they take responsibility of their learning. And I think, uh, I think uh, uh, Professor Farie that uh, I'm speaking after him because he has made the sequence for me. And I'm focusing here more on learning to self-learn because when the students, we make them learning to self-learn, it becomes uh, more like taking charge of their learning. So uh, everybody knows about certain important personalities uh, like uh, former president of the United States, then Bill Gates, uh, Jack Ma from China, and Elon Musk. You know, what these personalities they have in common is that they follow this five-hour rule which means that uh, uh, you know you you read something then reflect on it and then do the experimentation on that currently we are living in a vuca world vuca means uh, which is volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous and this has led us uh, uh, to undergo through two kind of revolutions one is the fourth industrial revolution which is artificial intelligence based technologies dominating and the another is fourth education uh, a revolution, which is the, in a way, name of the book by Sir Anthony Sheldon, in which he says that nothing matters more than education. If we are to see AI liberate and not infantilize the humanities, uh, Professor Ahmed will identify this is a future of the things going on as identified by IEEE organization, in which uh, radical life extension and those kind of things they are, you know, being worked upon. So. 
uh, the, these things uh, they are currently um, you know changing the scenario and impacting on the education so all these things they have brought out a certain change in the education system and this is making that the learner should be a better learner and a faster learner better learner means to acquire new knowledge effect efficiently and a faster learner means because the skills they are changing uh, very fast and then the students they need to be a smarter learner because we now have the power of artificial intelligence and quantum technologies with us uh, einstein once uh, uh, was taking an examination and he gave the question paper the assistant uh, identified that this was the question paper which was given the last year so when he told einstein about it einstein said yes the questions uh, are the same but the answers have changed so this way it is a very important thing is there and you may be knowing that uh, the 1905 has been identified as the uh, miracle year for einstein because in that year he published four excellent scientific papers uh, uh, based on photoelectric brownian movement special theory of relativity etc while at the same time these other great scientists of our times they were uh, uh, making people aware about the foundations of quantum mechanics you may be knowing niels bohr paul dirac wolfgang max planck and schrodinger or heisenberg etc in india professor c n r rao he has been considered as the most prolific indian chemist once he indicated that uh, in the universities it is the outdated curriculum we need to change that for the future of education so uh, when the world has been shaken up by a known visible uh, microorganism the virus we think that are we dealing with the same questions or the change means who is teaching where do we teach how do the learners access the learning how do we support learners uh, how do we assess learners what learning resources do we apply and how do we manage their credentials so what has changed the mobile learning infrastructure has changed uh, from being banned into the educational institutions now the mobile devices have become the lifeline of the education system the fourth industrial revolution the fourth education revolution etc they have brought to the front the applications of ai so what should be the new educational or the future of educational ecosystems is that we need to have ai empowered self learning facilitators uh, professor ahmed already said that our role should be to facilitate learning we need to have lifelong learning self learning communities ai supported help desks mobile learning wearable self learning devices blockchain etc so with these things uh, uh, we say that the future of education is uh, uh, there uh, it has been already uh, you know equal 42 the systems are there uh, where in the absence of teacher the students are learning and uh, professor sugata mitra hole in the wall experiment is the world famous which uh, shows the theory of minimalized intervention by the teacher no teacher the students even they learned better that is self organized learning s o l e so i end my presentation by saying that uh, uh, william gibson said that the future is already here it is just not evenly distributed we need to take care of this thank you so much yes professor sharma thanks for your contribution and also Uh, professor ahmed also mentioned about the openness and the future direction of the education relies on the openness and considering how to be a learner a better learner and if there is any question you are welcome uh, to raise your question or any comments we would like to add this panel you are welcome to at the contribution Okay, I think we use our time in a more efficient way in a um, great team. I would like to thank a uh, conference organizers and the participants who give a very um, efforts to scientific and development of the uh, school autonomy. in terms of the management and as we are realizing that 
all disciplines are come together and from the reflection of uh, different countries, we are now aware that every scholars are telling same thing to put in action. We need to now to consider how to act to our uh, education system in evaluating setting in an openness, in an equity, in a, a human interaction. Yes, uh, Dr. Orhan, uh, we have two minutes. Uh, if you would like to ask, please. We have two minutes. And our uh, presenter can write their emails. If you wish any question, you can ask uh, later if you wish, Dr. Orhan, or if you wish, we have two minutes on my time. Uh, I, maybe we can reflect later uh, by mail. Okay. For a uh, few, is there any connection between open society and open system? Dr. Sharma, please briefly answer this question. Yeah, there is a very big connection between um, uh, open society and open system. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, when we say open system, it, it becomes an umbrella term for many other I items. Like we say, uh, open source software, uh, open data, open society, open governance, etc. So in that way, when we establish a, a, a principle of open system, it means that whatever are the components of that, they are in tune and in integration with them. So a very I'm deep relationship. Actually, uh Okay. Thank you. Sanırım sona erdi hocam. Çok and teşekkür. Our panel has come to an end now. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you so much for your contributions. We are very honored to be hosting you here today. And we will wrap up our panel now. We will have a one hour lunch break. We will start at two o'clock and we will have oral presentations at that time. You can use the links on the program to access them. Thank you so much. <laughs>